Welcome back to Storytime All. Today's story is titled Never Let a Dinosaur Scribble. In this book, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Here we go. I recently got a pet, dinosaur. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And everyone keeps telling me never let a dinosaur scribble why would anyone say such a thing i mean dinosaurs are so strong and powerful so why can't they scribble i thought if i gave him just one crayon what could go wrong well, tell ya, he took off running toward the wall. We don't scribble on walls, on paper, I yelled. Thank goodness, my dinosaur has a short attention span. Just before he was going to scribble on the wall, he noticed a couple of stones instead. He started to scribble on one of the stones, which was great, but there was just one problem. He really couldn't see the scribble at all. I could tell he had another idea. He went to grab the paint. This wasn't going to end well. But surprisingly, it didn't make a big of a mess as I thought. He just quietly painted his little stone and it turned out awesome. But then he got another idea. He wanted to paint dinosaur sized stones. Didn't take long before he was rolling boulders into the room, one after another. It had become the biggest rock pile I had ever seen. And the way he painted rocks was truly extraordinary. But you couldn't see my floor or my bed anymore. I had to find a place for this rock pile and quick. Then I heard the noise down the hall. This was it. I was going to be in so much trouble. I popped my head out of the door. My mom was standing right there. Before my mom could say anything, I started to explain the mess she was about to say. Well, it all started when I heard to never let a dinosaur scribble. But I had to find out why. So I gave my dinosaur a crayon and then he ran toward the wall with it. Thank goodness he got distracted with some small stones and started scribbling on them instead. But he couldn't see the scribble at all. So he got some paint. He loved it so much that he got bigger stones, giant ones. Even and it made a big mess, and I'm sorry. My mom picked around the corner and I smiled. You didn't make a mess. You made some spectacular stone art. When I turned around, there was just a little pile of stones on my table. No huge boulders and no gigantic rock pile but it's still some of the best art ever. All this time, people wanted to stop dinosaurs from scribbling. It could be because they try and draw on walls or make a gigantic rock pile. But if my dinosaur had never scribbled, he would have never learned how to make this amazing stone art so the next time you hear 
Never let a dinosaur scribble. Just remember, all great art starts with a scribble, and even dinosaurs have to start somewhere. Hope you enjoy this amazing book as much as I did. If you did, give us a like and subscribe and leave us a comment and tell us about your scribbling. Take care now. See you back here soon. Bye-bye.